Darkmatter is indirectly detected by gravitational lensing and galaxy rotational curves. Today, I am going to talk about the galaxy rotational curves. Galaxy rotation curves are rare, but there are a few times they have given it in the exam. First, we will check a rotational curve for our solar system. So, when a planet goes further away from the sun, the rotational speed will decrease. Rotational speed is inversely proportional to square root of the radius. We can easily prove it using centrifugal force equal to gravitational force and simplifying it. So, according to Newtonian mechanics, if there is a central mass like our sun, okay? so when you go along the solar system, when you go further, further away from the center, when the radius of the planet increases, the rotational speed of the planet should decrease. This should be same for the galaxy. At the center of the galaxy, there is a supermassive black hole. All the other solar systems are rotating that supermassive black hole. Now we can sketch the graph for galactic rotational speed. So we should see the same pattern that we see in our solar system. But it didn't happen. 